Hey, welcome to Lakeshore RV Center. Let's take a look at your Montana High Country 334 BH bunkhouse fifth wheel. We'll start up front here. You've got a mirror front cap, so it'll look down into the bed of the truck for hitching up to the camper. You have the Rotaflex pin box. This is going to uh, rock and pivot to absorb some of the shock when you tow it down the road. Up front here, you've got a nice big service compartment bay with your 50 amp service cord and your water hose hookup and a bay for your 12 volt battery that we will install. Auto leveling system is right here. I'm gonna send you some instructional video on how to operate that. Pretty simple, pushing buttons can't beat that. Nice big pass through storage for you and your command station. So here we'll have your hookup for that water hose for hot and cold water shower. Key TV for cable and satellite hookup. Your water bypass winterization system, filling station, as well as city water hookup. And then also your um, black tank flush is right there. So when you go to fill up your water station, you're going to uh, flip it from either normal flow, which is city pressurized water, or fill your onboard holding tanks. Low water drain point and pull valves for your gray and black tank. This cap is removable. You'll be able to bring those utilities up into and secure them in place. Quick battery disconnect is turned on right now, so the battery would be powered on if it was installed. Water heater, and send you some instructions on winterization for that. And then you do have a secondary gray tank release valve there, and the outlet for it. Coming around to the back side, you have a secondary uh, outlet for your uh, second gray tank and the rear bathroom area. 50 amp service plug. You do have a roof ladder here. It is on a pin, so you pull these pins out, give the ladder a pull, and it'll drop down and lock into place. On the back side underneath, we've got your two inch receiver hitch and your four way flat wiring harness if you decide you want to uh, tandem tow something. Nice big rear slide out box for the bunk room. LED lights. And up top there is a prep for an onboard solar panel. If you just, or excuse me, an onboard uh, backup camera or observation camera. Your rear door entry. Underneath here is the tire rack. So there is your spare tire. Loosen that bolt, give the pull, and you've got your spare tire. On the slide box here on the campground side, you've got a nice big power awning on the slide out. And towards the front, another nice big power awning. LED lights are underneath. Access to your front storage compartment. You do have two 30-pound propane tanks that we'll have filled up for you. Let's go inside and take a look at the rest of the camper. Stepping up in here, we've got your fuse panel and breaker box, motion sensor LED lights, and your onboard central vacuum. The hoses will be up underneath the master bedroom. We've got our on and off switches for our lighting. This is your main thermostat for the AC and furnace and the max fan vent for up above in the kitchen area. Here we have your control panel. So you'll have turning your fresh gray black water holding tanks on. Um, that's gonna supply heat for them. 12 volt ceiling fan, high and low. Check station for your battery, fresh water, gray and black tanks. Water pump if you're using your onboard holding tanks for water. Gas and electric for your water heater. Power awning and all of your lighting, as well as some accent on the front. And then uh, both of the actual switches for your slide, or your uh, <laughs> awnings outside and individual slide buttons. Your 12 volt gas electric RV fridge. It has got a ton of room. It also works on auto, so it'll know what it's hooked up to and switch over to that utility when it's needed. And the freezer. And it does go all the way through.
take a look at the pantry here. More cupboard, cupboard storage. And you do have some utility outlets over here at the coffee station. Countertop extension on the center island. Power outlets on both sides of the oven. Residential size microwave. The suburban stove and oven top. This is going to flip over once. Flip over again. Got a nice backsplash and access to your three burners. Finally, a good size oven. On your center island here, you have a switch for island light. It will be accent lighting underneath the center island. Power on the theater seats to kick them out. And the boost seating, which does have storage underneath. And uh, also some lighting. Finally got rid of the carpet and got a matte finish flooring. Pull down blinds. You've got a ladder to access the loft area. So this ladder is going to be real simple. You're going to lift it up and then drag it out. And that'll give it a little ladder angle. Let's take a look upside in the loft area. AC up here for them. Some LED lights. And coming down, we've got your electric fireplace. Settings on this are going to be on and off, timer, change the color of the flame, and then also the thermostat control. Just above it, you've got your radio with CD DVD player, hook up for HDMI, inside outside speakers, and Bluetooth. And of course, we all know how to work a TV. <laughs> on the side lights in the slide box, there is a dimmer switch. You tap it, the lights will come on. You tap it again, they'll go off. Hold your finger in place and they'll slowly go through their dim cycle. Nice cubby storage in here for the, the bunk house. Top bunk does lift up and lock away. And you do have a heat and AC back here as well as their half bath. And a hookup for TV. And last but not least, the master bedroom and bathroom. Power fan in the bathroom. Slide out for the closet in the master bed. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice big shower. Make sure when you're traveling that you let those magnets click. And we're going to lock. There we go. And your king bedroom up front. You do have a hookup for K uh, TV for cable and satellite install. Class A motorhome windshield on your front cap. Your king size bed. And you do have your second AC here. And you will have... It's independent thermostat. So that right there is your Montana High Country 334 bunkhouse fifth wheel. My name is April Welch. If you have any questions, always give me a call at 231-638-7750. Thank you so much, and I hope you're having a great day.